Nobody see you. Nobody hear you. You can work 50 years with people and they still don't know your name. They don't even know you're there. You don't see the police vans hunting us down. Or the managers who treat us like we're the lowest of the low. You're too busy bowing and scraping to your beloved England. And where's that got you? Those questions are still the same. Those questions still haven't been answered. And I sort of think that all the problems that were happening then are, are still relevant today. That play, it just captures that moment of that second generation, how they felt they were treated when they came to this country and how they're still treated now. And it's an argument and a conversation that we're still having today, which is shameful in a way, because I think they and their children have more than earned their right to be in this country. They are British. Sometimes they walk through you, push you out the way. All the time you're screaming, screaming inside, but you don't exist. So how are you going to teach your children that they don't exist? I'm a person that has kind of two feet in two lands. So then how do you exist? How do you, if a generation had to fight so hard to be accepted in this country, how do you then say to your next children, you have a right here, you, you exist here. Winsome Pinnock has obviously been one of the most significant um, playwrights of the entire post-war period. The breadth of her work, the, the sheer craft, um, her ability to communicate, the, the basic humanity amongst all of us, I think it's fantastic. I, I should be here to watch, to watch Lee take in. You know, I read it and I was just like, I can't believe I haven't freaking read this. You know, I can't believe I haven't seen it. And I'm so pleased that the Bush Theatre are reviving Lee Taking. It's um, beyond time that play was, um, was done and I'm really, really thrilled for her. Me and those teachers, we don't speak the same lingo. The things I feel they haven't even got words for. Sometimes I think there needs to be another language to express myself.